On behalf of the Souk Philharmonic Society, thank you for joining us here at the Holy Trinity Church in Souk, BC. And for those of you online, welcome. We stand on the traditional lands of the Coast Salish and the Souk First Nation. Now for our Souk Philharmonic live stream concert this evening, we are very excited to present the newly formed Voces Intime String Quartet in the first of our Nelson Chamber Series concerts. Now the musicians have generously donated their performance tonight to help the Souk Philharmonic adapt and thrive during these unprecedented times. Now, if you enjoy the concert, perhaps you'd like to show your support by visiting the Souk Philharmonic website. Here you will find ways to donate to ensure concerts like this may continue. Eligible donations will receive a charitable tax receipt. So thank you again for joining us and enjoy the concert. Concert. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. So nice to, to see you. you know, it's, it's so nice to be playing a concert uh, in front of human beings. It's great. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about this. Uh, sorry, we were talking about how, uh, you know, a couple of our friends, uh, um, Pam had a concert last week, and, and we've been to the concerts in, in Souk, we're part of the Philharmonic outdoor concerts. And it is it's so much fun and so fulfilling to be an audience member or playing. It's just such a great feeling, this idea of phenomenology, of people experiencing the same emotion, the same thought at the same time through music, through a non-verbal entity. And it's also very nice that after eight months of COVID, we can still fit in our concert clothes. So. <laughs> yeah, barely, barely. <laughs> Yeah, Reeve and I are both wearing different clothes from last night. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is a joy to be here. Uh, it was last night also. Uh, we have four pieces. So this program is all Greek. Uh, we're playing four pieces from originally what Grieg wrote, the, the incidental music, incidental music to Pergunt of Henrik Ibsen. Um, and kind of coincidentally, they're all about they refer to women, relationships with his, women of, that he came across. Sulveig Song is um, his <laughs> much suffering, patient, very patient wife, who's waiting for Pal Gint to come back to Norway after his worldwide travels. Uh, and um, she says, she says, for instance, I have to translate really quickly. Um, I'll be waiting for you for winter, uh, in winter and spring. Sometime you'll come, that much I know. Sometime we'll see, we'll meet again, my friend. Um, the next one, Anitra's Dance, is, um, takes place in Egypt. He was at the pyramids and part of his best business travels around the world. Uh, and uh, Anitra was kind of an um, exotic dancer, call her that. Um, Death of Ossa, Ossa was Pergam's mother. And the play starts off, Pa de Lila, you lying. And he's telling these fantastical stories and he's always teasing his mom. And so at this very touching moment in the play, he, he, he's saying, you know, I wasn't the best son, but my love for you is so sincere and deep. And it's an extremely focused point, focal point of the play. The last one is the Dance of the Mountain King's Daughter. So it's a kind of a, it's written, I think, a, what's it? Uh, Allegretto alla burla, burla, burlesque. Um, and uh, it, you know, the Mountain King's, the Mountain King lives inside the mountain and young Norwegians, when they're by themselves on the side of the fjord reflecting on life, a very beautiful girl comes along with blonde hair and green eyes, and what you have to be careful of is look for the twitching tail. <laughs> because it's a troll woman, a hildach, and um, all sorts of uh, trouble Par got into when he was seduced by this troll. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Enjoy.
You've been listening to Voces Intimate String Quartet performing selections from Grieg's Piergint. Now, while the performers rest, I'd like to take this opportunity to encourage you to familiarize yourself on the Souk Philharmonic website. Here you will find news, announcements, and upcoming performances. Now, Yareev and Pamela, our violists and cellists, are familiar faces for our Souk Philharmonic audience. The two violinists who join us this evening, David and Paul, are newcomers to Souk. They recently moved here from Norway, where they both performed with Bergen Philharmonic. Now, without fur further ado, let's get back to tonight's performance. Thank you very much. It's so wonderful to be here with all of you today. And for you even me, very wonderful to be on the stage with David and Paul. We've known them for a long time. And we've had actually a few chances to play together over the last, I'd say, six years or so, five or six years. But now, um, they had wonderful careers in Norway, we're in Bergen, and have now moved to Souk and are living here. So <laughs> we look forward to many more opportunities to play with them and to um, keep our friendship enjoying the friendship. Uh, it's very meaningful for us to be playing this Greek for you tonight, to, this afternoon. Uh, it's not only just a masterwork and a wonderful piece, um, great, very influential. If any of you know the Debussy Quartet, we're almost sure Debussy was quite inspired by this work, which was 10 years earlier. Um, but we also just feel personally connected to it because last summer, not the summer, the COVID summer we've just had, but the prior summer, we were fortunate enough to have a chance to visit them while they were still in Bergen, and we had a, a wonderful trip through the Hardanger Fjord, and we actually happened upon, I don't know that it was really the plan, but we happened upon the actual city where um, Grieg wrote this Quartet, and we saw village. the hunt. It's, it was a village. village. Yeah. Okay. All right. It was a village. And I'll try to say it properly. Ullensvang. Yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you. Uh, we even the photograph, if any of you saw it in the Saanich News of the four of us, was a selfie that Yareev took. As we That's, were right why there in front. That's why his. That's why his. Because ours. Uh, it's a selfie. Uh, uh, but it, it really, um, it made sense to me the minute we were there and we saw the landscape that he was looking at and these fjords, I mean, we live in British Columbia, we know beauty, but these fjords in Norway are something remarkable. And the opening theme of this quartet, and he uses it throughout all the movements, the opening was so clear to me what he was meaning by that because you, you come out and you're in this beautiful, shore of the fjord and on the other side are these enormously majestic mountains and we walked out there and I thought ah I understand what inspired this incredible work. Uh, there's a lot of open strings that we were talking about earlier it's almost as if he was trying to evoke the real folk Hardanger violin that always has all these sympathetic strings so you'll hear hear a lot of that and it's just a tremendous work and a joy for us to play. And one last thing is we, um, we did, we're so grateful to be a part of this project and this particular concert and want to thank one person enormously who made this possible for us and that's Lee Anderson. I don't know where he is at the moment. But... I, I would love to hire him as our manager forever because he's just fantastic. And part of that, being a part of this, is we were asked, well, because we played some concerts together, but what's your name? Mm -hmm. So we kind of had to work on that a little bit. And what I, I was thinking just recently, um, that many people describe string quartets as um, a marriage without benefits because you really are very interconnected and as you work together. Now here we have two marriages, and there's benefits, and there's also the friendship benefits, so it's quite nice. So the, book, the name that we came up with, to me, kind of speaks to that a little bit. It, it actually is the name of a quartet that Sibelius wrote, that we've talked about wanting to learn together. We've started rehearsing it, actually, and hope to perform it 
for you, very another point, but that particular work's entitled Voces Intime. And whether it means intimate voices, which we're not quite exactly sure, David's telling me it may be more closely to inner voices, it speaks of something that's very closely felt, something that's very special and unique. And I, I feel this very gratitude for the kind of friends you are and the chance that the four of us can play together. So I think the name's good for us. <laughs> that's why we have it.
Well, that's our program for tonight, folks. We hope you've enjoyed experiencing live music in this new format. Now remember, keep updated on sukefield.ca, and I hope you'll join us October 31st for our next concert.